The final update of Fortnite Season 7 is here, and I am so excited to announce that the Skyfire Live event will be happening incredibly soon. As always, we're breaking down new map changes, items, and leaks that reveal the future, starting with everything new. When we got the Ariana Grande concert just a couple weeks ago, it seemed like that was going to be our spectacular live event for the season. But it turns out that Epic actually has a lot more in store for us than we ever imagined. Yeah, instead of the season ending with a cool trailer, today's update has revealed that we have a huge live event around the corner, and it's gonna get chaotic. Like I said, it's going to be called Operation Skyfire, and as you can tell by the name, it involves a certain mothership exploding. I mean, there's only one mothership. But over the course of the last few weeks, characters have been teasing that Dr. Sloan is about to blow up the mothership, and with today's update, it has finally been confirmed. For starters, the mothership is currently on its way to its third and final target for abduction, Corny Complex. It's here that it will slowly abduct the POI just like it's been doing for the last few weeks, but Corny is very different. You see, we have leaked images of what it will look like once the mothership gets a hold of it, and as you can see, there will be floating chunks as expected, but there are small bombs all over the rocks. Literally everywhere spread all over the floating corny complex, and it shows that Sloan's plan is going smoothly so far. In fact, the next payphone conversation with Sloan has been leaked, and she seems determined to go through with Operation Skyfire at all costs. She says that the mothership will be coming down, and that our next task will be to warn people in the area to get out of the way. So gear up for next week's challenges, because you're gonna have to make sure an entire POI doesn't get slaughtered. Fun, right? What's even crazier, though, is we also know where the mothership is actually going to crash land, and surprisingly, it's gonna be at Misty Meadows. And if you want to get yourself excited, in just a few days, we'll be seeing a new countdown in the lobby for the event, and it'll look like this. I mean, it's pretty cool, but I'll be waiting to see the in-game version. And even more importantly, we have something very interesting to note about this upcoming live event. Leakers have found that the event will actually have some kind of downtime immediately after it ends. Basically, this live event will be sending us straight into Season 8, whether it's immediately or a black hole situation, we'll see. But how exciting is that? But event aside, we also have some more information about the map changes happening on the island right now. And unfortunately for fans of Slurpee Swamp, you'll be sad to hear that it has completely vanished as of today's update. Instead, Epic has renamed it to Sludgy Swamps, and a huge chunk of the Slurp River has gone missing. There are now craters all over the place where buildings used to stand, and this feels like a very bittersweet goodbye to a POI that's been with us since the beginning of Chapter 2. And over at Coral Castle, there are also craters around, but it hasn't fully vanished just yet. Maybe in a couple weeks, we should check back and see if it's still around before Season 8 begins. And it looks like Farmer Steel has noticed all of this destruction going around and doesn't want to be a part of it. So to prepare for a possible alien invasion, Steel has been working overtime to fortify his farm. And so if you head to Steel Farm right now, you'll notice some cool additions to the place. But not all of the coolest changes are actually in game. The first thing you'll notice when you load up into today's Fortnite update is actually a massive change to the lobby. If you go to Change Playlist, you'll be introduced to the new Discover tab. Kind of looks like a cross between Fortnite, Netflix, and Disney+, Plus, and honestly, it's not that bad. There's still a few things that need changing with it, and it's a bit hard to navigate right now, but the community is welcoming it with open arms. But today has also brought us a new change to the Fortnite crew, as we know the next three Fortnite crew skins have been revealed. We have Tomorrow's Crew skin, who will be the Burning Wolf, then it'll be followed by Chaos Origins, who is one of my personal favorites, and finally in November, we'll be getting Sierra. Now, this is important because for the longest time, we thought that we'd be getting a a progressive crew pack skin. Leakers have been saying for months that season eight will give us a crew pack that actually upgrades with every single month you're subscribed. So you can say we were a little shocked when the next three crew skins were revealed to not be progressive. And it looks like the whole time we were looking in the wrong direction. As of today, all Fortnite crew subscribers are being rewarded with a free backlink called the Protocol Pack, and it's a part of the Legacy Crew set. This backlink is super customizable, and you can change its colors, style, hologram, and more. It's pretty neat. Now, unfortunately, you don't have many options to start with, but the longer you stay subscribed to the Fortnite crew, the more styles will unlock for you. And this is all the stuff that's in game as we speak. Today's update is more than just that. We also have some insane leaks of the the community is going crazy over. Because this was the final update of season seven, there is so much to unpack about what will be happening over the next two weeks. And it all starts with some news on a crossover. Now, you know we already have Ant-Man in game, but it looks like he'll be returning at some point in the near future with a brand new emote. It's gonna be a traversal emote where you ride Antonio from the movies. Marvel fans are looking super forward to that, but a lot of the Fortnite community has their eyes on a leaked upcoming skin named Windwalker Echo. And as you can see, she's a pretty cool skin, but there's something just so familiar about her. And that's because you may have seen the first ever demo we got for Unreal Engine 5. You know the one on the PS5 with the girl running around through those caves and temples? 
Yeah, that's the one. She's gonna be in Fortnite. Such a cool and clever reference that not many people have noticed, and we're really excited to get our hands on her skin. And for the pro players and sweats watching this video, though, you'll be very happy to hear that Epic is actually releasing a new FNCS exclusive outfit. And I mean, it's exactly what you'd expect from an FNCS skin. And the same can be said for the next Save the World starter pack, which will include Lars, some V-Bucks challenges, and awesome cosmetics. And if we're speaking of starter packs, though, Season 8 will be giving us the next original pack, and it'll be a new version of the Ark skin. And it really seems like people are loving this idea of remastered skins and starter packs, so maybe we'll see more like this in the future. For now, though, we have to cover the coolest leak skin in the entirety of today's update. An artist by the name of Daja Cat made a concept back in February this year called Dahlia. It was a pretty popular concept skin, and Epic has decided to bring it straight into the game. But this isn't actually any ordinary concept skin. While it's awesome that Daja got his art in game, there's something extremely unique about it. This is the first ever community made skin to have a built in icon series emote. By that, I mean the skin, which is now named Joy, has an exclusive Doja Cat emote for the song Kiss Me More. It's a traversal built in emote that you can't use on any other outfit, and considering the artist is a diehard fan of Doja Cat, you know, you gotta admit, it's pretty awesome. And if you wanna see the rest of the amazing skins coming in the next few days, here's a quick preview. We have Bloom, a beautiful plant skin, and Brainstorm, who looks like a cartoon villain. He looks awesome. And skins aside, the leaks have been generous to us with this update. Yep, we have confirmation of the next Party Real event. It's part of something new called the Musical Wave series, but other leakers are calling it the Shockwave series. Either way, this leak poster confirms that the next Party Royale artist will be an Egyptian singer named Mohamed Hamaki. And do you remember these? Well, if you missed Fortbytes, you're gonna love this leak. Apparently, Fortbyte files have been re-added in today's update, which could mean we're getting them back in Season 8. Either that, or probably a new version of them. And with leaks aside, here's everything else you need to know. So while everyone's too busy preparing for a mothership explosion, Fortnite has been giving us wild weeks in the background, and we have our third week going live today. Now, unfortunately, we're not getting an unvaulted item this time around. Instead, IO and alien guns are gonna be in common chests, and will be way easier to find. And as for challenges, it turns out that after weeks of trying to find out who the mole is, Sloan has finally figured it out. This whole time, the mole in the IO was actually Maven. I know, absolutely no one suspected her. I mean, why would we? I feel like there was no hint for it. And the real secret that we've all been following, though, has been the shrinking chair on the map. It's been going on and on for what feels like forever. But this update has gotten so small that the bear has lost his telescope and has also begun shrinking himself. Not the bear, no! And for the creative fans out there, some new galleries and devices have been added. But most importantly, there's a new feature called the real-time clock. This is something that is huge for creative, and for one reason, live events are now possible in your favorite creative maps. We also have new loading screens, and our eyes are on this one, including the new Joy skin. I mean, sure, she has a ton of existing skins following her, but they're actually on skateboards. Now, it's likely that this is just a prop to fit with her roller skates theme, but this could very well be a tease for an upcoming skateboard emote, or possibly even a vehicle. And that's everything you need to know about today's final Fortnite update of Season 7. We don't have long left until Season 8 comes around, and with the live event countdown beginning on September 3rd, we could be in for a massive treat. Will the mothership destroy Misty Meadows? Will the map be changed? forever? Or will someone actually foil Sloan's plans and put the entire live event into jeopardy? Looking like we'll find out very shortly. Thanks so much for watching, guys. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.